In this video, I will show you two methods how to find the location of your Google Analytics 4 native tracking code on your website. The first place to check is to open your website, then do the right click and view page source. Here you should be looking for some code that mentions GTAG. I'm using Windows device, so I will click Control F and then type GTAG and this is the Google Analytics tracking code. Technically, you could also be looking for a code that mentions your measurement ID. In the Google Analytics property, you can go to admin, then data streams, then select website data stream. And here, once you copy the measurement ID, you can also look for that. So this is very common to include Google Analytics tracking code directly in the code of the page. But it's also possible that developers coded the website in a bit different way where they store most of their JavaScript in some other files rather than the main file of the website. For this video, I temporarily added a hard-coded Google Analytics tracking code on my website. But if I do the right click and view page source and then look for GTAG, for example, I won't find anything. But I know that Google Analytics is installed on this website. So let me show you another way how you can check where exactly is Google Analytics installed on the site. Let's go to the website, then open developer tools. So on Chrome, you can do that by clicking three dots, then more tools and developer tools. And then here you go to the sources tab and then you can click control shift F or command shift F. In this field, you can enter your Google Analytics for measurement ID. So I will copy it again from here and then paste it, then click enter. And here you will find places where that measurement ID is mentioned. If you see something like JS that is loaded from googletagmatch.com, so it means that this is the file that was downloaded by the browser. This is Google Analytics itself, but this is not the place where that code is placed. In my case, Google Analytics tracking codes will be probably mentioned somewhere in this file. So if I click here or here, then I can expand this a bit and see that there is a file which is called jscodes.js on a website. And here is the code that loads Google Analytics. It looks slightly different compared to the original non-modified Google Analytics code because we have this this part replaces the part of the code which is right here. So instead of this line, the developer used this code. But this part right here is the same as it is right here. So you can hover your mouse, for example, and see the URL where that file is loaded. Or you can look at the left side of the developer tools because once you are in this file, its location will be highlighted here and you can just do the right click copy link address and then maybe send this URL to a developer if you want the developer to remove the code. Of course, developers should know how to find the code by default, but if you're dealing with some situation where you think that it's helpful for you to know where is the exact location of the code, then by copying this link address, you will know where that code is. Because now if I wanted to open that files location right here, I click it and I see the content. And since we have this JS codes file, if I go to the website and open the view page source and then look for JS codes, I will see that it is referenced in the code. So instead of placing the Google Analytics tracking code directly on this main file, the developer loads that file from some other place of the same website. Also, a final tip for this tutorial is that if you kind of find the location where Google Analytics code is implemented, but that code is barely readable, there are no line breaks, there is no spacing, then you could click this button right here, which is pretty print. What it means is that this will format the code in a more readable way. Right now, of course, this code is readable, but if you see a very condensed code, maybe even in a single line, then try clicking this icon to make it a bit prettier and a bit easier to read. And this is how you can find the location of your GA4 native tracking code on your website. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, 
This is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.